Hi, I'm Mark W. Gray, and this is my son, Noah T. Gray. And uh, today Hi. is the first day of neural feedback. And what it is, is they basically put electrodes on your brain, look at your brain waves, show you your brain waves, and then it's like a video game you play with your mind, and it causes this neural feedback, which fixes the connections in your head. Now, first of all, there's nothing wrong with the connections in Noah's head. He is a genius, clever, cool guy, right? Right. And um, uh, that said, uh, he takes um, Ritalin yes. and Adderall. No, not Adderall, Concerta. Concerta. And uh, why, why do you take those? Well, I take them because I was initially um, diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Yeah. And it helps me focus during the day, like, because part of with Asperger's is that I'm I've, I can focus on things, but I focus on everything all at the same time, and that can be kind of annoying, and I can't, like, really give my full attention or anything, so when this, what it helps is it helps me, like, focus on things in school and not be completely strange and illogical. Well, it's going to start out, like, you've been on it since about 2001. Uh, medication evaluation. It's 2000, so okay. 12 years. That's a long time. Uh, when he was like five, you're 16 now. Yeah. When he was about five or so, he got at a couple of different preschools, and he got kicked out of a couple of preschools for, for biting a kid and, <laughs> and being kind of hard to control. They said, oh, he has ADHD. We went yeah. to this much more expensive person, and she did all this testing. He was, I remember he was climbing all over the furniture. Yeah. And she said, this is, well, nope, it's Asperger syndrome, which is a thing. It's what they call an autism spectrum disorder. disorder. Whereas if you're like, over here, you don't have autism at all. And if you're over here, you're like totally mm -hmm. autistic. And if you're here, you're like Rain Man. Right. right. And if you're here, you're like Asperger. Okay. Yeah. If you're here. Yeah. Right. Um, and they say, they, then they tell you it's cool because all these geniuses like Bill Gates and Einstein and things. Have yeah. That. Anyway, um, it's one of those things that's probably been around forever, but it's just something they thought of a name for. Yeah. And when I was a kid, they just called it, oh, he's wacky, you know? Yeah. And uh, my thing was, do you want to really control this with drugs or is it something you should learn to control just yourself? But then the thinking about it is, well, if you had a disease that you could fix with drugs, why wouldn't you? Anyway, but it's a, there's a whole thing about Ritalin, whether Ritalin's bad for you and good for you. I think it's probably on the whole good and it's been yeah. useful and helpful. It's been good and helpful and it's helped me kind of develop socially over time. That said, it would be better to not have to take a drug yes. every day for the rest of every all time, right? Yeah. And now sometimes you take it, sometimes you don't take it. And you can tell yeah. a real difference, right? Yeah, uh, well, I can personally tell the difference. In that I don't feel any different when I don't take it, as opposed to when I do take it. But, like, I can feel socially a difference in that I behave differently. I am... Because when I take it, I kind of think in a more directed way. It, it, or I think in a normal way. When I don't take it, I'm very um, out there and I'm very... Um, I'm a little bit, cra little bit crazier. Not to say that I'm not crazy most of the time. <laughs> right. But crazy in a positive kind of Robin Williams-y kind of way. Yes. You mean. Okay. Or Steve Martin-y kind Steve of way. Steve Martin-y kind of bouncing off the walls. And, you know, crazy is kind of fun. Genius-y in, in a lot of ways. Uh, anyway, this is an, another evaluation that he had done uh, about last fall. And it basically, long story short, says he's like super clever, super high IQ, super genius at everything except processing speed. Right? Which yeah. makes sense. This is the connections coming from side to side. And all this fits with what I learned about how brains get this way, which is through like early childhood traumas. Like if some people, someone's abused as a child, it causes attachment disorder, which can cause addiction and things like that. That's not his case. But when he was an infant, like being born, there was this episode of preeclampsia in the hospital where because of the Pitocin, there was this moment where his heartbeat went way down and everything, and everyone kind of freaked out for a second, and everything was okay. But perhaps... A little moment like that can affect your tiny baby brain in a way that makes it just, you know... A little bit slower. A half tune off, right? So, and and my theory, and what I'm counting on, what I'm going for here, is that we can uh, we can tune that up. And so the, the one low score on here is fluency, which is like... Reading fluency. Reading and fluency. Kind of um, processing towards uh, writing and evaluation of things. Right. Which, um, I remember when I was a kid, I was a really slow reader. I didn't really like to read books. I didn't read books for pleasure. And now that I'm old, I do. And I've gotten really good at just cold reading, and my fluency has gone great. But then again, 
it's been, I'm 30 years older than him, so it's, I've had that exactly. much more time to get good at it. Um, but so let's do, we're, we're do a little baseline test here. This is fine to tell him about it. <laughs> Just a little fluency test. This is the preamble of the Constitution. This is a good All right, that. cool. Let's see how we do. Okay, ready? So just read it. Uh, relax. Think about democracy. <coughs> All right, go. Anyway, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure that domestic tranquility, provide aid for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, very good. You want the Gettysburg Address, or do you want If by Rudyard Kipling? That's hard. I'll take If. Okay, this is a great, a great poem. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on run, you, if yours is the earth and everything yourself. that's in it. And what's more, you'll be a man, my son. You'll be a man, my son. Very good. Very good. So that's our, it's February the um, 18th, 2012. That's our, that's our pre-EEG um, baseline. They do a test, actually, this little very simple video game, which gives you a really hard science neurological piece of data about how all this processing stuff functions right. on mm -hmm. this one very easy to track vector before this whole thing starts. The other thing about the EEG and the, um, and the uh, neural feedback is that it's not just if you have something that's off getting fixed. If you're also high performing, it also makes you even better. Like people who want to fix their golf swing go in there and do that. It fixes their golf swing. And they did testing on people who play the violin at Juilliard, like these music students. And after they took the neural feedback training, they got like, their teacher said they got like two years better <laughs> or several years advanced to where they were before. Yeah. So there's a, we could, you could become like an evil super genius off yeah. of this. You could like lift things with your mind. Now, what do you expect? What do you hope happens off of this, this stuff? Well, I hope that, um, I become just a bit more focused and a bit more capable of like just doing like general schoolwork and such. But also that, like, I'll become, on the whole, a bit more confident as a person. Yeah. Because I, I feel confident in a social setting, but I'm not very confident when, like, flirting with people. Oh, really? Yeah. You seem pretty flirty. You seem pretty, uh... Well, I think that's that's just being a, a dude, you know, that's... You know... Yeah, well, that's part of being a dude, but... Well, I hope to have. I hope to gain from this my favorite superpower: the power of persuasion. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're, you're looking, looking for, for like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the levitating things when the levitating. Because if you could do that levitating thing, that is like chick magnet. I yeah, exactly. Like the Jedi going boop, and the bra comes off. <laughs> so if happen. Noah gets Jedi powers and the ability to, you know. To just you know, be an evil super genius. Hopefully, he becomes a good super genius and not an evil super genius. Yes, right. Of course. Good, because it's important to have a good moral sort of Stay. core <laughs> at the get go. Anyway, so that's so this is exciting. We're gonna go and get some real feedback, and we're gonna this is we're gonna do this sort of like a blog. We're gonna put this on the internet, and we'll so you'll be able to see the whole thing as it happens. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. You ready? Yeah. I five it. Spot on. All right. And cut. And cut. <laughs> <laughs>